Hello, we have returned. Hello again. And now I we are finally doing over. this piece of shit that I hate. I... Oh boy, oh boy. I forgot I to configure my controls in my very real Game Boy Advance. Oh, I took when the, that happens. I took the entire time for BRB getting a soda. Uh, apparently, my very real Game Boy Advance is not letting me configure my controls. I will restart my very real Game Boy Advance. Oh. Ooh! Oh, that, one, can... that one logo looks like... And we can see the very Some real Game controls. Boy startup screen. A very... We can see the very real nostalgic Game Boy screen. Startup screen. Hmm. Liam, I don't... I'm not seeing the very real startup screen. Okay, why is it not I'm recognizing seeing, like, my logo. controller? Oh, this is a there it goes. Okay, it recognizes it for the special buttons. Why doesn't it recognize buttons. it for the real buttons? What What's the, the difference f between the special oh, buttons and the real okay, buttons? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? It's a Game Boy. There's only four buttons, Liam. Or was the this control pad kind of as a button? Well, mm -hmm. D-pad. Mm -hmm. I mean. Sometimes the D-pad the counts as a thing. Alright, let us begin. Hooray! This doesn't look like a Game Boy game. This looks kind of like a Game Boy Advance game. But... Yes, I, w I would like to select my language. We'll... No, no one's gonna yeah, acknowledge. Not... No one's gonna acknowledge my joke. Yeah. It was let a me joke. Know if, let me know if the game audio is too loud, guys. English, Deutsch. I think it might actually be a bit loud. I thought this was on the Game Boy Classic. Isn't it a funny joke? It took me all day to come up with that. I like the sprite style of this game. That's about oh, yeah, all the, I the like about this game. Bad. That and the fact that it's mostly canon. I like it. It's some pretty clean sprite work. It's based off that one book of the same name. Apparently my start and select buttons got mixed up. Okay. Can we not? Bionicle, Web of Shadows, the Spider-Man. Story mode, battle mode, tunnel mode, multiplayer mode, options mode, back mode, select mode! No, I don't want to get out of here. But, but! The six Toamechu heroes defeated Makuta and imprisoning him on the wall of the Great Barrier. But and? not before Makuta had imprisoned the Matoran in pods which keep them in a deep sleep. I'm not reading this. How are Wait. you today? Wait, this game doesn't take place while they're in the maze? It does. But the pods are happening. What about the pods? I, I figured, I thought this this game took place during the Morbuzok arc. It does. But the pods happened after the Morbuzok. They absolutely did not. <laughs> what? What the fuck are you talking about? But Explain the, your nonsense. The 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 Morbuzak happened after. Explain your nonsense, Josie. Uh, the Mor the Morbuzak happened before the pods, though. No, it didn't. It didn't. Well, the Morbuz You're getting the Morbuzak and the Karzani mixed up. Oh, no, going eyes. The Morbuzak was not in the maze, Josie. Liam! Liam. What? We're speaking different languages. The Morbuzak was not in the maze. The Karzani was in the maze. Yeah, you could have said that instead of saying, No, you're wrong, but also, you're also wrong. I got the Morbuzak. I mixed up what you were saying as well, but the fucking... You were thinking that the Morbuzak was in the maze and saying that this game was in the maze, but that happened before the pods. And now I know. And knowing is some of the... So this is what the Karzani looked like? I guess. Alright. For some reason, I always envision it looking like the... Like the... Like the... Like the... 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 the 
the Notori from Metroid Fusion. I mean, take this game as, like, level 2 canon. Because, like, the energized protodermis entity takes on the form of Teradax, so... I am told that card game game shows they're not about balls. Okay. I'm also told that the plant on screen is not the plant. What? Okay. What? And now I'm told to look at Discord. Yeah, I noticed that. Drip. Uh, there's there's a lot to look at on Discord, so I don't exactly know what I'm told to look for, but I'm told to look at something. I'm gonna guess that this is that. It's a it's a trailer for for Helltaker. Well, pick. I'm I have been reading the chat, and I'm gonna say you are kind of getting a little annoying, and that is a very inappropriate question to ask somebody. I think asking he's fine. it twice doesn't make it any better. Oh, oh wow. Um, I hadn't actually looked at the chat when you said the words that you just said, now Liam. But now I'm confused. <laughs> Wow. All right. Anyway, so the art style for this game looks actually pretty good. Yeah. Um. And wait till you see the battles. Oh no, I meant the game that they linked me to. I already knew this game looked good. Oh. It is time for Kofo Jaga. Yay! So get used to these battles, by the way, because this is pretty much all you'll be seeing ever for this entire fucking game. Oh, I was back, but I've been muted. Yeah. Good job. So, Liam, what you're saying is this game is an RPG? Yes, but it's like there's very little variety to anything. Liam. Also, this is the, I, can't, this is the I have lost count of how many times I have gotten lost in just this one opening area. Because everything looks exactly the same! I noticed I that. I hate it! I noticed that. What does this game take Very... place? What did this game take place in the nether or something? Yeah. It's very brown. Yep. Uh, so I've heard, so Vanguard says that he loves RPGs and was disappointed when he heard bad things about this game. Hmm. I've heard from, confl I've heard conflicting things. It's like some people say this is the best of the Binkle games and Liam obviously hates it. Yeah, I've, I've had a grudge against this game ever since I had to play it all the way through to record the soundtrack for Biomedia Project. I hated every minute of it. Which is why I've been begging Liam to play it, because I want to, I want him to know my pain. It's not even like, mean. it's just like, it's not even anything in particular about the game is bad. It's just fucking boring. I didn't mean to say I need him to know my pain because I haven't played this game, so that's not how that statement works. I meant yeah, to say is I want I want him to know pain in general. I just want, I want him, him to, to know his own pain. I want Liam to suffer. That's real nice, Josie. Thank you. I love you too. Mean. <laughs> Liam, know the pain you've already known. Again. Liam, no pain like no one has. Reacquaint yourself with this particular pain. I'd rather Liam, not. Pain. Also, the music Liam. is nice. The music in the game is nice. I'll give it that. Basically, everything about the game that isn't the game itself is nice. The game is good. It's just a bad so game. Everything about the game that isn't about the game is good. Yes. So what you're saying is this. So what you're saying is it's a good printer. It just doesn't work. <laughs> actual quote from my mother. I will say it is also <laughs> nice to have like all these 2001 Rahi coming back. It is neat. No zitchy. Yep. Because the archives. Yeah. Oh good, I am confused. Ah, uh, yep. Suffer. Also, Vanguard, I think a lot of people would argue that a bad game can still be more entertaining than a boring game, because a boring game is, by definition, not entertaining. Mm-hmm. 
a game can be so bad that it's like laughably bad or like you know that you can at least make some enjoyment out of it yeah even if you don't care for a bad game the way the developers intended you can still often find fun with your own objectives just like doing stupid stuff around yeah Kopek asks if Bionicle memes will ever make a comeback. They will as soon as I start tweeting again. <laughs> I stopped tweeting because of Minecraft, because Liam was all like, I'm bored, let's play Minecraft. And I didn't argue because everyone's bored right now. So I was like, I want to play with my friends. And then I played Minecraft, and then Liam got bored. And now Liam doesn't even play Minecraft anymore. He's the reason I stopped. Tweeting is because he wanted to play Minecraft and now he's not even playing I'll Minecraft playing anymore. again once 1.16 comes out, which is going to be soon. Yeah! And then we can hang out with pigs! Yeah. Fucking pigs! I and love then that I can get that one dance. banner that looks like a... It looks like an outlet. Chibi Robo banner flag! Also, <laughs> it's interesting. I was looking at this, like, after the Legend of Anui came out. I think some of these models are actually from that game. Like, look at the rat. Look at the Ruru's on the Nui Rama. They are very similar. Well, yeah, they're probably they're probably the highest definition models Lego has available for these for these for these models hmm. that aren't the set renders. <laughs> Because uh, I, I'm guessing that the set renders are much higher definition, obviously, because I mean, we have these we are looked stylized them. too. But there are parts of the models that just look like really similar to the Legend of Mononui stuff. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Kopek asks which Clone Wars you like better. Hits you. Actually, I, w I wanted to speak about the uh, uh, speak about Bionicle memes because on Sunday I spent all day making a total of 30 studio renders to make Ooh. six animations uh, based on um, <laughs> like the memed uh, Toa gimmicks, like all, all the 2001 Toa like their their gimmick oh. pages I just animated <laughs> and made into a movie. Also, I love oh, those how are real good. I love how the the Toa the Toa are still using the prototype designs. Do they not have chest plates? Yeah, they don't. Oh. Oh. So no comma just had so no comma just got her titties out. Sure. Just got her titties out. Their shoulder pads look really weird too because like we've seen the prototype shoulders and it doesn't look like those were. The they're, uh, they're probably even more prototype. Uh, Scrap Despair in the Twitch chat asked, "Are they even models?" Uh, I, I'm guessing referring to the like uh, the enemy models and stuff in the fights. It's the pic. The, the, if, if pixel art is this detailed, it's probably not pixel art. It's it's probably Donkey Kong Country style 3D. Ah. Uh. Where they just take screenshots of models or photos of, and then they no, like, yeah. mostly screenshots. It. Yeah, they t yeah. Uh, also, also Mortal Kombat would do that. I think more Com Mortal Kombat is more well known for doing it because it's very obvious that's when it happened. Uh, for years, I thought that the Donkey Kong Country of sprites were just sprites, and I felt really stupid when I when I was told, no, they are 3D models. And then I was like, oh. Yeah, that is like, pretty stupid. <laughs> oh, like the Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Look, everyone everyone thinks wrong things until they learn the, the smart things. Me. You are not allowed to wrong think. Oh. Why isn't there a Bionicle Poyo Poyo game? Yes. I would there be. Uh, I think Puyo Puyo is like the the genre that Tetris is called now. No, it's a different thing, but it has a combo. It has a combo game with it, the Puyo Puyo Tetris. It's, it's it it's was a, it's the genre that Mean Bean Machine is. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at that now. It's basically mm -hmm. Tetris. It's basically Tetris with circles. Why? Yep. 
Yeah, so there should be a t uh, uh, like it's it's Lego. Why is it? Why isn't there a Lego Tetris game in general? Mm -hmm. Hello, Chibi Nui Jaga. It's Buck. It's Blocks. Blocks. You're a block. Chibi Nui Jaga is my favorite thing. What the fuck is up with this model? What? This model doesn't even look like a thing. Yeah. Ooh, that's a model. <laughs> He's real goofy looking. That doesn't look like a Legend of Wanui. Like this Bakari were scuffed as hell. Huh. Got yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like, the, the masks are very smooth and low poly, which is, like, generally what they did for Legend of Mata Nui. For, so, like, obviously they did it for a reason there, but for some reason they just used those models for a bunch of other things. Well, yeah. I, I, think, I, I think the more logical explanation is that they, like, the, the same process and line of thinking is useful. Yeah. It's, like, the same method. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, this game has random encounters, too. Just in case the ones wandering around weren't enough. Oh, good. When is Beavers gonna play Marvel- gonna play Minecraft Dungeons? Whenever I can buy it. Ibi has it. I, I know. Go. I thought Ibi had it. Uh, no, Aurora has it, and she's been wanting to play with me, but I'm not getting any more games until after I move. I kind of want Minecraft Dungeons, mostly because no one seems to have ripped all the all of the texture assets from it yet, and I'm someone has to. Someone it. has to. Also, what? another thing, by the way, the I've noticed that a lot of these models don't look quite right with each other, like the fucking. The Faiku looks like the actual set. The Nui Jaga looks entirely fucking different. Yeah, it's like some of the models are set renders, some of the models are taken from other games, and some of them are just completely new stylized things. What the fuck? Uh, I just noticed uh, the, the face on the speech bubbles is different than everything. Uh, it's like every it's like every sprite in this game is a different style. Bionicle Amazing World of Gumball. Huh. Amazing World of Bionicle Balls. Amazing World of Bomb Balls. Bonk Balls. Please never say like Bomb Balls again. Amazing World of Gumbunk. Oh boy, this is where we begin to get lost. Are you ready for that? It's going to be so much fun. You know what? Is this like an also, RPG there's an ash bear over there. Type of game or something? Huh? Say what? Is this like an RPG type of game? Yes. I forget what like an RPG the type of bear thing. is. I think it's stone. Yep. There's a there's a there's an overworld and uh, you do all the fighting through a battle screen. Yes. <laughs> nope, it is. Uh, not Immortal stone. Z Man. Is, Immortal Z Man asks favorite Toa Metro. I assume. Uh, based on our previous rules, any Toometru that's not t that's not Matau, because Matau is the obvious favorite. What element are you? Th this isn't like Pokemon where you can easily tell what fucking element this is. What element is an Ash Bear? Well, considering that the, the Ash Bear, Ash, considering that the Ash Bear is just the Makuta Nui in this Apparently game, it's I would fire. think. Why? Uh, I mean, you know, fire and. Is it because it's orange? It, no, no, it's, it's fire. It's it probably. Fuck, what, is, what is the fucking thing here? Element it, strikes. Okay, it's is earth. It, it's earth. Is it, Apparently, earth is weak against ice. Yeah, earth makes sense. Makes sense. Also, you're scared, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Josie, Wath will you chose G3, but no Yoi, Yoi. Baraka or yo yo Baraka, but no G3. What? I recognize that those were words. <laughs> I understood not a single one of them. Also, Uziel's in here. Sprite is basically just a skull warrior. Get was like really here. Really like derpy them. eyes. So what now, derping? L look at the look at the fucking mask on the HUD for Nuju. It just looks uh, like a skull 
with fucking reg sprite screaming oh God, eyes. It doesn't it always? <laughs> Wait, so are you saying that Ray also apparently it's pronounced rage? Okay. Uh Swert said that he was talking with Rage once and he said his name Reg and Rage was all annoyed. He's like, oh, you pronounce my name the same way everyone else does, because why would anyone pronounce it anything different? I spelt it this way, and I always complain about people. Kopek, you're fine. I think I think you're fine. Liam's the one who thinks you're annoying. Oh, I get it. Well, Kopek says Kopek is Polish. That's why Liam hates him, because Liam is just racist. Wow, rude. Yeah, Liam just hates the Poles. Or the Polacks. Or the Pol Polybius. I've been here before. Where the hell am I going, game? God, I hate this. So the, the, the worst part is, this is the only area that is like this, as far as I know. You know what would be great? Is if, my, is if Minecraft 1.16 comes out, the the week or even the day that Scott finally uploads Chibi Robo. Ooh, we got a random encounter while I'm running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Liam, Scott the Waz is finally gonna review Chibi Robo Ziplash. I heard. Eventually, he he doesn't review. He doesn't upload his up his episodes sequentially, even when he's doing a story arc. That's weird. I'm just reconfiguring some of my buttons here. Hold on. I guess, technically, since the story arc is that he's he's telling, he's reviewing these games to his therapist, I guess it would make more sense that he doesn't see a therapist every week. I, I see my therapist once every two weeks. Kopek says that we refer to ourselves as policy. Okay. I think that was supposed to be a joke. You threw a rock at the bug, the bug died. Yeah. So what's your favorite Toa Metro? We never answered that except for Matt Tao because Matt Tao is the obvious winner. Uh, I don't I think anyone... Ottawa. I don't think any of our viewers are annoying viewers that keep asking if they're annoying. Liam thinks you're all annoying because Liam is a very angry boy. Does he don't put fucking words in my mouth, okay? Okay, Liam, do you think everyone is an angry boy? Yes. I I can't really empathize with any of the Toa Mestru because they're all like all children. <laughs> the Vakama is just an angsty bitch. Well, they were children immediate they were children at the start of the at the start of two, the two thousand four. They, they never properly learned how to be adults. Like, yeah, no, they, this they is where kids. they learn to be adults. They learn to be adults when the... Or no, not necessarily this. They learn to be adults when they got mutated into super adults. No. No, I, I, I think the Hordeka were their teenage phase. <laughs> like, that that was puberty. That was yep. a full on puberty. Angsty teenage phase. So, Angsty yeah, teenage they, they phase. Went, so they went from child to child, tall child to teen, back to tall child, and then old man. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't everybody... Uh, doesn't yes, ever adulthood, a.k.a. The, your tall <laughs> child. <laughs> yeah. the ice bear. Everybody, everybody builds a giant bird's nest without thinking about it when they're, when they're teenagers. It's just the way of life. Such is life. Also, I love how all the Ash Bears are called Gralock Ash Bear, even though Gralock is the name of a specific bear. No, 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 it's, it's, it's like Yoshi. No, no, it's like Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi! Sister Yoshi Bear, hello. I... Oh, time to do... Time to do... With... Time to finish the job! Pulls out knife. Yoshi! Stabby, stabby! Stab, stab, stab. What if, what if Luba hadn't stopped Jaller from stabbing the bear? 
and he, they just sat and watched for five minutes as as uh, Jowler as Jowler carves up the bear into meats. Toasty, what the fuck? Precious oh God, bear meats. Image. Precious bear meats. <laughs> and then they just have a picnic. For the rest <laughs> That's of the, weird. The, the, the whole rest of the movie, and then Makuta shows up and says, Hey, hey, um, oh, I was gonna... The, that's cool, the, the spider and the bear that was in there didn't count as the same encounter, so the spider counts as a spider and the bear, and a bear counts as a bear and a spider, so it's two encounters of the same two enemies, even though there were only those two in the overworld. What the hell? Yep. I just oh, want I, I just want Makuta to show up while they're eating the bear meats and say, Hey, I got bored waiting. Hey, ooh, what's up, bear? We can you know what? Fuck trying to take over the island. I want I want I, I want to just hang out, eat this bear with you. Can I eat this bear? And that and thus the power of friendship is achieved for eating bears. Wow. Wow. What a what a good ending. Yeah. God, oh, I, Chip I'm is, fucking, Chip is so in the chat. Fucking pissed off that we have to fight this right. ash bear twice. They're tanky as shit. Let's see. Oh, good. Ibby. I don't have any energy for Ibby. my cool left. Let's see. Ivy in the chat. Oh, good. I don't Ibby's have any energy here. for my freeze disc left. Ivy in the chat, even though Ivy's here, says, Josie, you can only choose one. Femby Hooters, that's the only one I'm going to bother reading because that's the one I'm picking. And then Chip says, Josie, if you don't choose that one, I will personally cancel you. Well, good, because that was definitely the one I was going to pick. No, you got to read them all out. Okay, Femboy Hooters, Tomboy Outpoints, Outback Steakhouse, Goth IHOP, Milf Denny's, Dork and Nerd Steak and Shack, Steak and Shake. That one's hard to read. I mean, I, I, I mean, if all of those existed, that would be nice, but uh, Femboy Hooters is the only one that matters. Yeah, get fucked. Yay, I love it. Convoy up. Outback Steakhouse just kind of sounds like a just kind of sounds like a thing that would happen. Just oh boy, there's nothing in here. What I about did all that like, for fucking nothing? What about just a regular ass diner, but all of the wait, but all of the wait staff is hot women in overalls? Okay. Oh. What would a goth IHOP be like an IHOP decorated for Halloween 24-7? I guess. All the wait staff wearing vampire wait makeup? Staff. Yeah, all the wait staff are just in black. That's neat. What the fuck would a dork and nerd steak and shake even be? Mmm, I, I don't want a restaurant where the entire wait staff is our stereotypical nerds. That's that's just, that's just. It would just be. It yeah. would just be a, a building full of neck beards and bo. <laughs> what and what and would John Tron be the manager? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, just random encounter, and then instantly one shot on a walk. Very good. Goth IHOP is just Hot Topics lunch break, says the Wizzle. So Have basically, I that I hate this game. What if it's a? What if the building it's it's an IHOP and then it exits into a hot topic? Oh, so amazing. on your so on your way out of eating of eating your pitch black colored pancakes, you can go and you can buy a Funko Pop. This joke works better if I don't. This joke works better. If I pretend that it's 20 years ago and that what Hot Topics had oh. Funko Pops made of pancakes, I'm gonna look that up. Pancake <laughs> Funko Pops. Now, do you mean Funko Pops of pancakes or Funko Pops made of pancake batter? Eh. Yes. Because uh, apparently there are Funko Pops of of pancake related characters. How many pancake-related characters are there? Uh, so there's the rabbit that explodes in Wreck-It Ralph 2 because Ralph fed it too many pancakes. 
there's a penguin with a stack of pancakes. They really, they re he really liked pancakes. His name is Chili Willy. I think he's a Looney Tunes character. His deal is he likes pancakes a lot. Uh, Woody Woodpecker shows up on this search for some reason. Who the hell is? What the fuck is this? Why Woody is there? Woodpecker's like a really old TV show. Why? Yes, I know what Woody Woodpecker is, but why is there? There's a character from Kubo and the Two Strings on here. What does Kubo and the Two String have to do with pancakes? I I don't know. John F. Kennedy. I guess John F. Kennedy really liked pancakes. Why is there's a, why is there a Funko of John F. Kennedy? SpongeBob, but specifically SpongeBob during one of the Christmas specials where he knows what Christmas is because he's wearing a Christmas hat. Okay. Hulk Hogan. I guess Hulk Hogan's whole deal is he really liked pancakes. Even though he's a even though he's a he, wrestler, so he's gotta be in shape. He tried to like make a restaurant chain that was like Italian food or like spaghetti or something. Okay. Did they sell I pancakes? Think it was called like pasta mania or something. Yeah, that's what it was. Did they sell pancakes? No, I think it was like wasn't it specifically Italian food or something? Okay, but yeah, that makes sense, but why is he on this search for pancakes? Fucking, I don't know. Maybe he did like a pancake and- There are Fungo Pops of the Sour Patch Kids! Why? Hey look, it's another Girl Like Ash Bear, your favorite. The- So, the individual pieces of candy that you eat with your mouth, the Sour Patch Kids, they all- Oh god, it, fucking speaking of Sour Patch Kids, let me- Post something I saw at the grocery store a while ago in the stream chat. Oh god. Is it a new full flavor of Sour Patch Kids? No. Oh. But it's Sour Patch Kids related. Okay. Is it Sour Patch Kids ice cream? Is it Sour Patch Kids cereal? No. Uh, those what both exist. Sour Patch Kids video Condom? game. Is it no. a Sour Patch Kids portrait of Markiplier? It's a Sour Patch Kids <laughs> chip toy cookie. Oh god, that's even worse. It's a what? Um, chips ahoy it's a cookie. Sour Patch Kids Chips Ahoy cookie. Oh. Now, now, you know what? Actually, the thinking about it, no, that that sounds fun. That sounds fine. That sounds delightful. It's a cookie with candy instead of chicken. I mean, <laughs> what? Also, I saw this. Excuse me? <laughs> I meant to say chocolate! <laughs> I meant to say chocolate! <laughs> but I, My brain- You're my favorite. My brain was confused. My brain put the words chocolate chip together and it came out as chicken. What is wrong with you? I don't know! My brain has a hole in it, my foot has a hole in it, and it's hot here. And now my eyes are melting. I have to go dry my eyes off with the with the paper towel of great justice. Oh my foot! God damn! Ow! I wish I was dead. Ow! Okay. Oh good, another ambush. Wow! How fun! It's and like not tedious. Why do you have random encounters in a game where the enemies also appear in the overworld? Like, yes, Pokemon well, you know, for, Sword and Shield for do an extra that. challenge. Pokemon I, Sword and I Shield guess. do that in the grass. You can still see and avoid them. Where? <laughs> Yeah, I tried to make a lot more sense if random encounters could only have one round. Hmm. I tried putting a bandage on my foot, but the bandage came off. Because my feet are sweating. Uh, is that... Justice? Yeah. Anyway, we were talking about, about chicken- about chicken flavored cookies or whatever. I, uh, it was uh, we need to make those sometime. We need away. to make chicken cookies. 
How did I I'm not a... get horribly lost in there? I okay, don't know. There, this there is the first time I've it. played this game and not been lost in that part of the level for like an hour. Erica, you make cookies. Make cookies, but instead of chocolate chips, it's chicken. No, that, that sounds gross. Yes, it chicken, does. But chicken chips. Look, if anyone, if any, if if anyone oh. asks, you could just say, I don't know, quarantine, bored. The quarantine gives us the ex gives us the excuse to do whatever the hell we want and just say it's because we're bored, it and everyone will understand. I was thinking chips. about like making cookies. Maybe sometime this week, I don't know. Chicken cookies. Chicken no, cookies regular chocolate chip cookies, you weirdo. Chicken, Chicken cookies probably wouldn't even be terrible. But it would I mean, weird. I guess, but like... Okay. It's fucking weird. Yeah. Don't actually yeah, Apparently do the Vaco isn't stone. What was I... What I was gonna say next? I was gonna say... Oh yeah, so I watched Nash's show the other day, and there was a guy who, I guess, got naked and went to a high school and just destroyed the whole, just vandalized the fuck out of the whole building. Uh oh. Uh, their theory was that he thought he was dreaming, he thought he was lucid dreaming, so he thought, you know what, I'm gonna go back to high school, but this time I'm gonna win! Weasel, is that a Tobuscus reference? I hope not. <laughs> uh, yep. No. That's yep. Please, no. Please exit the premises. Yep. <laughs> said yep. He said chicken and a biscuit. I mean, the, the meme is nugget and a biscuit, but whatever. Don't justify it. Oh, cool. I hit it oh, and cool. Then this goes it. off Pokemon logic. When I'm confused, I can hit myself. Oh, good. That's a very good mechanic. Well, then don't attack while you're confused. There's nothing I can do to remove the confusion. There are no, as Wait. far as I know, there are no items to do it. It just happens when it wants to happen. Does switching your toe not work? I mean, it does, but then I'm not going to fucking be able to fight as well. No. Well, okay. then maybe uh, start with a Toa, you don't mind getting confused, and then switch to Anwa. I don't U know why always... enemies can confuse this, not like they do it on the first attack. You guys, Uwuziel doesn't know what we were talking about, and was actually referring to an actual thing that exists. Oh. Um. Okay. It's I... it's an Abisco product. It's a chick. It's a it's a cracker that I guess tastes like chicken. Huh. I, I at least that's what I'm guessing because it just uh, looks like. Yes. Give give me your white piece. give me your white meat pastry. They just look like crackers, but it's called chicken in a biscuit. Flavor original. Um. And it's got advertisements for cheese nips and. Who is this? Is this uh, God, I want some chat? cheese nips. No, you don't. You want Cheez Its. Give me some fucking cheese nips, I swear to God. Cheese nips aren't good. You want Cheez Its? No. I, we don't They're... even have Cheez Its. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you live in a country? <laughs> How dare you live in a country? <laughs> How dare you? How, How dare, dare you live in a society? How dare you live? Get the hell out of my country! We're in Japan! Every country in the world belongs to America! Well, then how the bloody hell are we supposed to leave? America. Oh, no! You're getting too topical, please. Oh, it's fuck. It's getting too real. Oh, fuck! You, you know the Abridged series is accidentally topical! Speaking of topical, though, uh... Where the earlier, fuck was that episode made?! Josie, earlier you said that the C word is, um, demonetized on YouTube. Is is the P word also demonetized on YouTube? Politics? Probably, I don't know. No, not that P word. Penis? President? Protests. Oh. Uh, uh I hope not. Every country in the world belongs to America. 
But this is Japan. Every country has its own. Um. I've never even heard of cheese balls. Uh, cheese balls. They're like balls made out of cheese. Cheese That's, that was really obvious. Yes, yeah, it's like but a, I it's, assume it's a brand name. Yeah, it is. Uh, they're they're kind of they're kind of like Cheetos. At least I assume because they they look like they would taste like Cheetos. At the you know. Got y'all seriously missing uh, with this disc like every three it, seconds. It only took me a few seconds to remember what you. Okay, I'm seeing fried ones that look good. I think, uh... Okay. Did okay. So did something happen to the stream? I think most Apparently cultures... It did. I think in some parts of the world, cheese balls are just what they call... Oh or just what they call, uh, what, uh... Right, what Long John like Silver calls... Again. Yeah, I just restarted it. It's fine. You don't know what happened there. I wasn't yeah, hungry. I wasn't hungry when we started streaming, but now that we're talking about, but now that we're talking about garbage, I'm hungry. <laughs> we were talking about the pizza from Boss Baby earlier, and you didn't think to eat then. Well, see, the thing is, though, I said, I said, looking at this pizza, I remembered I wanted to eat a pizza, but I forgot. I have to do the dishes, so I'm just not eating pizza today. Let's see, I'm trying to find out when that sort of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge series where Ben Keith says to get the hell out of his country. But, but I don't remember what episode it was, so I don't know how to look up what year it was. Let's see. Uh, okay, it would be in season one. Let's see. It would be that, it would be before that, it would be... So it would either be Duel of the Dead or Busted Rhymes, which were both in... I'm sorry, Kinloka are canonically from Tametru, are they not? Kinloka... I don't remember. Kinloka? Mm hmm. I'm kind of color neutral, so I wouldn't know. Oh, look at that. That guy's weird looking. Okay, so either He's so like, both of the episodes that everyone every country in the world belongs to America could could have come from were made in October of 2006. So 12 years ago. 14 yeah, years ago. 14. Honestly, honestly, American politics haven't really changed that much. They've only gotten worse. Yep. America has progressed a little in the past 20 years. Did you know that Bandit Keith died after Duelist Kingdom in the manga? Huh. Oh, spoilers for our podcast, which hasn't come out yet. <laughs> I mean, he didn't die in the anime. Spoilers for our podcast! God damn it, Josie. That's hilarious. Stop spoiling the podcast. And Pegasus also died in the manga. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Yu-Gi-Oh! the anime is basically more similar to Final Fantasy VII Remake than it is a straight adaptation of the manga. Which I guess is just a, 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 what, what we're gonna call that style of adaptation now. Um, so basically various characters who die in the manga are spared in the anime because they want to do more with their characters. Uh, to the point where there is an entire. Um, How the hell do you dodge telekinesis? Fuck off! I know. There's an entire manga series that would be that would have been season six of Yu-Gi-Oh, had it not revolved around characters who who were canonically dead in the manga and had come back for revenge. So I am a ghost. So, like, at that point, the anime had changed so much it, that they could not... Like, they, they probably could have just gone ahead with this, with this, with the, with Yu-Gi-Oh! R, but they were like, Fuck it! Let's we just go on! We've got two Ash Bears now! 
two of them. You can! At least two they're not them. both fighting you at the same time. Oh god, that'd Oop. be awful. I, be I, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be as bad if you could fight with all six of your toe at the same time. Two can. <laughs> okay. What does it mean when? What does it mean when? Whenever you burp, you start you start foaming at the mouth. Oh, it probably means you have rabies. rabies. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. All right. <laughs> you probably yeah. like. I don't know. Maybe you puked a bit in your mouth or something. All right. Maybe a bit of it came back up. You are a cat after all. Of them, not having questions. Oh shit! I have I have hairballs. We were talking about cheese ball, but these are not the balls you were talking you were looking uh, for. These are not the balls you were looking for. Are you are you struggling with hairy balls in your mouth? Uh, I can't no. do anything because I'm scared. Apparently, all I can do is just <laughs> sit here and I can't move. I can't even. When you're scared, when you have a status effect like that in like Pokemon or whatever. You can still switch your Pokemon. You can't do shit. You just have to sit there tanking attacks until the game decides it wants to let you do something again. Yep, that sounds like an accurate depiction of fear to me. You that is that is an accurate def, 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 that is an accurate explanation for what a panic attack is like. What's the what's the greatest to a man? What? The bravest to so a metro, like, like out of the six, who do you think would be the least likely to get paralyzed with fear? Like this? Uh because I, I think your real problem here is that you went out with the nerd, and <laughs> he got. I went off. with the fucking yeah. nerd because he's the only one. Ice is strong against stone for some reason. Ice is strong against bears. <laughs> Ice is strong against stone, but I thought you said the Gorolic Ash Bear was Earth. It's, you're very quiet, I can barely understand what you're saying. No, it's not! I, I, I was leaning back a little bit, sorry. Anyway, so... You said that Ice is strong against stone, but you also said the Gorolic Ash Bear is Earth. It's what? Didn't you it, say the Earth! Earth. Is Earth! Well, apparently it's stone. It's a stone, Luigi. You didn't make it. I chiseled it. I chiseled it. I chiseled it. Making it big makes its defense lower. Explain that. Hey, Mario! I made it big! Its defense is slower! Wait, it's a does... stone, Luigi. You didn't how make it. How does that make it. sense? Slower defense? This game is, is it... like... It's like Baby's first RPG. They tried to make something, but they didn't know how to balance it or make things make sense. Kopek want, wants to know what your opinion is the worst year when it comes to LEGO. I will answer that for everybody, in, for everybody here. The worst year when it comes to LEGO was the year that Bionicle was canceled. Silence. Um, I would say, I would say 2016 because not only was my uncle uh, canceled a second time, but after they didn't even give it a fair chance. Yep. Like, hey, let's give this line no advertising. Expect it to sell itself. Have these stupidly expensive to make golden masks and. A dumb contest that nobody knew the Bionicle was going to care about. And then also, oh, it's not selling well enough. Let's just cancel it before it's third year. Oh, well, have it related. Never mind. I don't know where I was going with that. I just, I like, my brain just died that way through that statement. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading about card games. Mom's a card game. Uh, 
No, my mom is dead. <laughs> yeah. Card games will never die, apparently. Almost everything else I have loved from the old from the olden days of 2001 is gone forever. Bionicle, um, my innocence, the olden days of you. My, my innocence, uh, uh Toys okay. R Us. Toys R Us is still around here. Fuck you! Yeah, fuck you. They were owned by a but different also, parent company here. Also, um, for a more serious answer to the worst year in Lego, is probably the Dark Ages in 2002, 2003. I, I'm, I'm going to say 2002. Yeah, that was the year Galador was happening. Uh, also, Jody, I'd say that made it the most wild year, personally. Yep. Kobeck asked if I still have any Lego sets. I I do. I have the G2. I have one of the G2 Tahus. I have one of those uh, create Lego creator cat things. I have the shark that everyone told me to buy. I have the bus that I needed to buy. I have some flowers. I have the the Benny Space Squad and the Benny ship uh this one time I, I was having a hard day so i just bought a lego set on impulse it's the mini y-wing from rise of skywalker's first wave because I, I wanted zori bliss and i didn't want to buy that entire goddamn giant y-wing set that she's in um and by giant i mean regular sized because that's is this ship so now, instead of having to buy that set to get Zori Bliss, now I already have Zori Bliss, and now I just need to buy the Astromech Droid, because that one's the set with the T.O. Astromech Droid that I guess is in the movie, but I didn't notice. Did you guys notice the T.O. Astromech Droid in the movie? I sure didn't. Hey. Oh. What Pretty kind of sure... Are we about? So there is a T.O. Astromech Droid in the Zori Bliss Y-Wing set in the Lego set. Uh, there is the white. There is a blue astromech droid with female programming somewhere in Rise of Skywalker. Lego could have probably thought, you know, our fans would probably appreciate a teal astromech droid rather than the blue one. So let's make this character teal. So Lego sort of did that with the gonk droid with the buzzsaw in Solo. Uh, that droid is more like a sand green color, but they made it teal because LEGO fans like teal. Uh, did that droid have a name? The gonk droid? Uh, I think it's WG-22 or something. The, the teal droid. Yes, the teal gonk droid is named WG-22. I thought it was an asteroid droid. Oh, uh, teal astromech droid. Let me try to find it. It's got one of the, it's got uh, one of those uh, heads. I'm I'm looking for it. How many bears are there here? They're just one in a month. Uh, um, Liam, do you like pregnant fetish? What possesses you to ask somebody something like that? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fucking question is that? Are you serious? Well, I mean, you like you Sonic. Asking people that kind of shit. I mean, Liam, you do like you do like Sonic. What does that have to do with anything? The Sonic fandom is weird. <laughs> no, I like Kopek. That's hilarious. I forgot the astromech droids called. Sorry. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep looking for it until the day I die. Rise of Skywalker. There weren't as many droids introduced in Rise of Skywalker as you would think, so looking up all the droids in Rise of Skywalker isn't as much of a of a of a goose chase as it should be. Goose. Ah, uh, but here here's the other thing. First Order Stormtrooper names are an awful lot like droid names. No, no, no. Uh, no, right, for... right, no Wikipedia uh, divides up the character names to by what they are. Well, um, no. 
I'm, I'm looking right here, and I clicked on CS9147, which absolutely sounds like a droid name, but that's a that's Stormtrooper. Let's see. Characters. Show by type. Oh, God. Oh, God, you're right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I'm pretty sure astronaut droids are usually in, are usually R units. They start with R. That's a fair point. I'll, I'll dip in. Uh, there's only Except four. They're not, they're not organized by name either. Uh, there seem to only be five astromech droids, and okay, it seems to be R six L E five. That is very much blue, and so is R two S H T. Actually, wait, that one might not be the right one. Um, it says feminine programming. That might be it. But I was under the. I seem to think. I I thought that the wiki actually had the the backstory. So okay, so the astrobike droid I'm thinking of in the in the visual dictionary because they couldn't be bothered to put interesting things in the movie, I guess, was that the droid apparently was uh, not owned by anybody. I guess in Star Wars, slaves actually can buy their own freedom. That's weird. So basically, the droid was was serving the rebellion of their own accord, rather than being told to by their human. I found that to be interesting. I'm pretty sure it might be this droid. R6LE5. Another thing that I think might be the right one is because this one has the head. We can yeah, assume... We can assume it. the head is the same shape. Yeah, but it, the color is not the right shape. That's what I'm saying, though, is I think that LEGO might have made the blue droid teal because LEGO fans like teal more. Also, I just thought of something. Is this the first time we're playing an RPG on the channel? Oh. This is the first RPG we're playing on the fucking channel. I want to die. <laughs> I have found at least one source that says that R6 LE5 might be it might be the teal droid, but this is a website in Hong Kong, and I don't think they have authority over Star Wars characters. I'm just trying to okay, level up so Mama now because he's the only one I haven't fought with all that much. Most of set description and the box call it asteroid. So that's you yep. know. Most of the images on Okay, who, never mind, Vakama's dead. So Christmas. so far the only two people on the entire internet who have who have ever suggested that the teal astromech droid might be might be Lee 5 is Hong Kong and me. That, that's not what I want. Uh, I tweeted in December 2019, apparently on Christmas Eve, that I thought that the two, that the teal droid might be R6 Lee 5. Um, apparently, nobody has given enough craps about Star Wars these days to actually verify if that droid is supposed to be that droid. So I've just found out about BFB7, and this might be my new favorite. The FB7. It's just a fucking Roomba. Uh, I need to see this Roomba. You're a Roomba. I, I posted it in voice streaming. Okay, good. Oh my god, it's a Roomba. It's what what if a mouse droid looked even more like a Roomba? Because I think the Roomba was invented after Star Wars. So when they made the mouse droid, they didn't actually make it look like what an efficient cleaning droid cleaning robot would look like so this is one that actually looks like it like it would be used for cleaning i don't think the mouse droid is a cleaning droid yeah, yeah yeah it was well this is absolutely a vacuum cleaner yep yeah. so the mouse droid is meant to uh just go around um i guess cleaning shit that's what it because uh our like I guess the mouse droid could be useful for security purposes, but I'm pretty sure it was just I'm pretty sure it was for cleaning. 
mouse droid. Yeah, it's the MSC Six Series repair droid. Mouse droids are fucking repair droids. Okay. I mean that that makes a lot more sense because they can slip into those vents and like like into machinery and repair them. All right, That's I got that. Robo. Oh fuck, mouse droids are chibi robo. All right, so I guess I'm wrong. I must have read something that made me think it was clean droid at some point. Oh, well, the, the cleaning one would be more like Good. Chibi Robo. When you hit yourself with an item that gives attributes like the enlarged disc weakening things, when you're confused, oh, wait, never mind. It, does, okay. it transfers those attributes to you. It doesn't just do damage. No, no. That would be never too mind. normal. Actually, reading the full first sentence of this page, it says the MSE 6 series repair droid, also known as the mouse droid, was a roving repair droid that employed in the hundreds to clean the floors of starships and bases, as well as carry messages and guide troops to assigned posts. So, Why is it's a repair, repair droid, droid it's a repair droid, a cleaning droid, and a messenger droid. Okay. It's I like it. But uh, yeah, so it so this movie ca so the original Star Wars movies came out decades before the Roomba would be invented. So uh, Star Wars didn't actually know that a cleaning droid would probably be more efficient if it was spherical. Spherical. <laughs> spherical. Balls. It's I actually get no spherical. Actually, no, this is it's spherical would be three dimensional round. This is only one dimensional round. No, it's two dimensional round. What would a one dimensional, what would a one dimensional round object even look like? Let me tell you what it would look like. It would look like nothing. Just like your mom. I don't think you can, ha I don't think you can have shapes in one dimension. What? Is it like just a line, one dimensional yeah. or something? Yep. Yeah, that's, uh, that's every shape. Yep. A one dimensional space is just a line. There is a movie called The Flatland that I watched once. It was very weird. Is it flat? Uh, so the book that it was based on was, uh, um, was about how in a two uh, some two-dimensional people, they find out there's a third dimension and that there's a war and that they need to fix it, and they don't. Uh, yeah, I remember you mentioned this before. Yeah, I talked about it a lot. It was very odd, this movie. But the two-dimensional people wouldn't be able to perceive a third dimension, just like we wouldn't be able to. Uh, yeah, they kind of, they kind of just hand wave it, hand wave it that their their eyes can process the third dimension, but not while they're in the two-dimensional space. That makes you no sense. take you take the two-dimensional being out of the third out of the second out of the two dimensions and into the three dimensions, but gravity will eventually crush it to death. You have not made this way more sense. No. Nope. All right. So basically, the two-dimensional. So basically, the two-dimensional beings, uh, their their body isn't really closed, a closed space in three dimensions. So I guess they have to be like laminated. Oh. They really didn't. They really didn't do as much with dimensional physics with this movie as they could have. Like it's mostly just when the three-dimensional when when the so they're squares and then a, and then a sphere shows up and says, "Hey, I'm a sphere. You want to hang out?" And then the squares are all like, "No, what the fuck is a sphere? Go away!" The sphere, get out of here. And the sphere's all like, no, no, look, no, look, see, I'm three dimensional. Look, I can, look, as I move in and out of your world, I become bigger and smaller because of perception. And they're like, what the fuck are you doing? How are you doing that? Go away. And then they're like, look, I'm going to rotate along an axis that you can't even receive, and suddenly the one eye that you can see that I have will become two eyes. What the and then they're like, oh no, two eyes! And then they Don't vomit. Don't do that, that's weird. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am describing Flatland. I have never heard of this. 
Really? Josie's I talked about it on stream before. Yeah. yeah. So it's a movie about these two dimensional about these two dimensional life forms that suddenly are made aware that there's a third dimension. And also both both dimensions are at war with each other. The, the, so the second dimension and is so the the, the, the shape the two dimensional shape people are fighting because some people are in the euthanasia and some people aren't. And also, there's racism. As you do. And uh, it's ha the same stuff is happening in the three-dimensional space, but we don't really get to see the uh, see what how that works. Okay, so the two-dimensional people, they're like the only people that are allowed to exist are the people that are perfect shapes. So we can't have any of these funky rhombuses. We can only have squares and circles and triangles. <laughs> No fucking rhombuses allowed. <laughs> yeah, and the and uh, so the the op so the opposite side, which are the protesters, are called the chromatics because they also figured out how to change Josie, colors. No, you can't use the p word. Oh. Okay, so the good guys are called the are called the chromatics because they also figured out how to change their colors. Most of the shapes are white. But apparently, you can just hold your breath and change color. I guess shapes are weird. How do they work? Mm -hmm. But anyway, put them together one, and make stuff. But anyway, so the main character, his name is A Square, and uh, he's just hanging out with his wife, who's a line once, and his uh, and then a sphere shows up and said, "Hey, I'm a sphere," and they're like, "Wow, you sure do look like a circle, but you're weird. Get out of our house." And then he's like, "No, look, just gr grope me. You'll you'll see that I have no edges." Scoozy. Circles in two dimensions are just really are just really really jagged shapes. So hold on, the the girlfriend's just a line. No, the wife. The wife is just a line. Oh uh, yeah, the yeah. Line I was just gonna. Uh, yeah, that's a good. Like when I'm using the mask of telekinesis, the Rocky can't actually attack me, even though they're right up my ass. So. Yeah, he's just gonna patiently wait there while I move this block. <laughs> also, like, oh, when you well, use the mask of telekinesis, it, it breaks the stream. Huh? When you use the mask of telekinesis, it breaks the stream. How so? Uh, it was just a funny coincidence. It's, oh. Um, but the stream is broken. It's oh. fine on my end. It's awful. It's fun on Twitch. Hey guys. Oh. Well, the YouTube's just on the top one. Hi, Spidey. Oh, oh, are you God, here to tell us? Nerd in here. Hi, Spidey. Are you here to tell us the stream's not working? Because we already know. What? No, I thought I joined. I'm oh. Fucking asleep. Oh. So I'm just talking about how Flatland was a movie. Um. Yeah. Apparently the stream's not working. I don't know what to it's, do about that. It, there's nothing wrong on my end. The the YouTube stream is broken. It's it crashed. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. You just said you went on offline on Twitch. Fifty-nine yep. seconds ago. That there's literally nothing wrong on my end. Well, everyone else is telling you otherwise. Even Kobe yep. says offline again. And yeah, it crashed. It says, wait, what happened? So I looked it up, and what chicken in a biscuit is is it's a cracker flavored with dehydrated cooked chicken. It, it's such a luscious song. Oh my no. god, I just I just checked the YouTube chat again and Kopech has been talking to himself this whole time. Yep. <laughs> well well I guess now it's it, there's a record of that because we said it. Wait, is is this part of the recording? Like is, Yes, are we we're we're going. This? We are going. You are oh, unbelievably lazy. Like you're not gonna cut anything out. So what the hell did I miss? Uh, apparently nothing. Well, someone messaged. I think it was a woozy old mention a brand called. Oh yeah. In here's the here's the video, by the way. It's going live in the Discord. Wait, so uh, y'all can see it. Uh, wait. Uh, um. Okay. So I'm looking. Oh, never now. mind. Um, Apparently, streaming in Discord stops Visual Boy Advance from rendering. Yeah. Oh, dear. It didn't look a whole lot like anything. I, I heard stuff. Liam, I can hear it too, and now the game is gone. 
Liam, you suck. Mm. <laughs> honestly, mm. if you, honestly, if you could manage to do just basic editing, you should take the VOD, cut it off where the stream went down. That's the plan. Do, but what I'm well, saying no, is this fucking do... bullshit is like, it's not even working for fucking Discord, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, but instead of rolling with it, we should just do, like, technical difficulties stream over. I mean, you were about to end it anyway, right? And now... I'm you not been... quitting. If you're telling me I should quit the game right at the end of the fucking level, I'm not doing that. Well, we'll, we'll see if you even remember to save anything. So I guess you can't even see what's going on anymore because the fucking no. Discord won't let me stream it. That's or rather, not... Visual Boy Advance has a fucking shit fit whenever I try to open it in Discord and stops rendering the entire game. Please. My god. Yeah, I'm pretty so sure the, the end worst. of the level is, like, right beyond this door, too. So we're the worst, right? Yes. Oh boy, another ash bear. I'm gonna try and start streaming again. Just, you know, keep trying this as we go along. You are just full of bad ideas. What is your problem? I, I don't know why you're trying to brute force this. What? What are you talking about? Like, these things are clearly not working, and instead of just calling it for now, we just Why would I quit right at the end of the game? I literally just walked into the next level. That's it. Because, because people don't even give a shit about this game. Just slap on video of someone else completing it. And it's like, don't even have us talking. Just like... Hey, this is what it looks like. It's exactly what you think it would look like. Also, you didn't even watch the end anyway, so fuck you. You're just being stubborn. <laughs> I'm being realistic. Exactly. Yes, it's realistic to quit right at the end and not do anything. It's with realistic it. to quit when everything's breaking on you. Or I can just record it locally and upload it with the VOD. Yeah, do that. What is your problem? You suck, Liam. Why? Okay. Hold on. I, I, I went back to the mean... Uh, so... Uh, I'm, I'm super confused because I went back to Beaver House YouTube channel and it says that the Turok and Bionicle Maze of Shadows stream was two weeks ago. What? No. <laughs> like, how long are you talking? Technical difficulties. Yeah, well, I guess we'll see you next time since we're not even here anymore. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you, see you in four weeks because we streamed two weeks ago and we'll stream in two weeks again, I guess. I don't know anymore.